In this video, we are going to look at direct proportion and indirect proportion, also known as inverse proportion. So we're going to start with direct proportion. Uh, when uh, the definition for it is when two quantities increase or decrease by the same ratio, we say that they are indirect proportion to each other. So they either going to be increasing or decreasing at the same ratio. So how do you find it? Um, X is directly proportional to y if x over y is equal to constant so if you divide the two quantities you'll get a constant so when you you are dealing with direct proportion you will divide the two quantities and then you'll see when you're dealing with inverse proportion you, you'll multiply the um, quantities let's look at an example for example they say four books cost 150 how much do seven books cost so the first thing that you need to figure out is is this a direct proportion or an indirect proportion when you buy four books they will cost 250 when you buy seven books will they cost more or less will it go up or will it go, will it go down as the number four you get 150 when you buy seven would what will seven be more than 150 or less so definitely it will be more so it means it is direct proportion so after figuring out that it's direct proportion then you find that constant that you find in that ratio so you're gonna say 150 books divided by four and then you find that proportion that constant thing 150 divided by four it's 37 rand 50 cents right so one book will cost you 37 rand 50 cents so how much will seven books cost it will be seven times 37 rand seven books will cost you 262 rand 50 cents so you can see that this is direct proportion the more number of books you have the price goes up so it's it is direct proportion so how do you do it you find this constant and you multiply with whatever number they've given you. Let's look at uh, indirect or inverse proportion. Right. Indirect proportion is when two quantities, we're going to call them X and Y, are inversely proportional or indirectly proportional. So these two ways, inversely proportional, that's what they call them in some question papers, or indirectly proportional, it means the same thing to each other. If as the value of X increase, the value of Y decrease. So as one um, value goes up, the other one will go down. And then where in life would you have that? Let's say, for example, you hire people to maybe build a building. The more people you have building that building, the less days it will take to build the building. The building. So we'll see with the example that we, we're going to do where people are digging a hole. So with these questions of direct and indirect proportion, you have to read the story and figure out whether it's direct proportion or indirect proportion. So with indirect proportion, the product of the values is constant. So you take the value of X, the, 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 the first amount, multiply it by the second amount and get a constant. You're going to get a number. I'm going to show you what to do with that number when we're using an example. Example, 10 people take four days to dig a hole. How long will it take eight men? Okay, now the first part that you're going to do, you're going to take the two values, 10 people and four days. So you're going to have 10 times four and get the constant, which is 40. So what you're going to do with that uh, constant? You remember with the, in, with the direct proportion, we divided the values with the indirect proportion or inverse proportion we multiply the values and get the constant and then what do we do with that constant 40 divided by 8 when we have eight men digging how long would it take uh, it will take five days so when you look at this question the more people less days when we have eight people it took five days as the number of men went down the number of days went up so this is indirect proportion so how do you do it you take the two values multiply them and get a constant and then you divide with the number of people that you're doing the job uh, I, I think you need to get more questions on this and practice 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 and read properly figure out is it direct proportion or indirect proportion this is the end of our lesson thank you for watching <laughs>